And literally, I was sat there crying. He looked at me and he said, why are you crying? Like he was properly trying to hook up because he kept offering me alcohol. All right, hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, for today's video, I somehow matched my sweatshirt to my skin tone, so. Today's video, I'm having a really fun video planned for you guys. So you guys have really been liking my story times recently about like my gay experiences. I did a video last week where I did a video about my first time with a straight guy, and y'all really liked the story time, so I thought, why not do another one today about one of my gay experiences in my life, because y'all love my gay experiences. Like, y'all just learn from me, from my mistakes, I guess. I don't know. So today's mistake, is tinder for today's video i'll be telling you guys a story time of my first ever gay experience on well actually my first tinder experience this story is probably the one that really made me not want to go on tinder hopefully this video convinces you not to go on tinder so before i start today's video i just want to tell you guys that if y'all subscribe hit the bell and comment down below the notification squad shout out i'm gonna go in the comments down below this video and follow all those that did all three so if y'all did all three i'm gonna follow you so it's pretty lit also guys comment down lgbtq if you guys support the gay community let Lesbian, all them. Comment down below right now and uh, let's get into this video. You know, people that are like, oh my god, Pepsi over Coke? Like, who are you? Like, literally go crawl in a hole, you know? I got my reusable straw because, hello, I don't want to kill our planet. So, all right, so this story literally goes back, like, I think when I was either 15 or 16. So, my first Tinder experience, I was really young, which I do not suggest at all. There's an age limit of 17 on there. Y'all should respect that shit, okay? A lot of my friends at school were telling me about Tinder and they were like, oh my god, Nick, like, I found this guy on Tinder. Actually, let's just throw back even further than that. I live in, like, the suburbs of Montreal in Canada. Well, I used to, anyways. And the small suburb towns, like, literally no one is gay, right? At my high school, I was like one of the only gay guys besides two guys that weren't my type at all. They were bottoms. So it was like literally just like a full high school of straights and like three bottoms. So it was like not gonna work out, right? For me being a gay teen that wants to experiment and like, you know, like get a boyfriend, my friends suggested I try Tinder. So they were like, yeah, Nick, like you should try it. Like, listen, like there's no hot gays at this school and there's no tops. So you're fucked. So I was kind of just like, you know what? Fuck it. You only live once. Might as well try Tinder. For some reason, like at that time there was like a recommended on my youtube which was like all like deadly tinder story times that didn't really help my nerves at all but like you know I, I was still on it and i was still you know like swiping so just like in real life with boys um on tinder i was extremely picky especially like in montreal like i don't know why like if y'all are from montreal i'm so sorry okay well i'm from here there too so i can't really talk myself but the boys are just not cute there well the gay guys are just not cute at all they're either all bottoms or like they're really weird top. I don't know if that makes sense, but like, you know what I mean? For a while, I think I was just kind of like swiping. I would maybe start conversation here and there, but they would never really go anywhere. I feel like at some times I was so desperate that I was just kind of like, oh my god, this guy could very well be a bottom, but there's like a... 2% chance he could be a top so I'm gonna swipe right you know it got to like that point So after like a few months of being on tinder and like swiping and whatever after like a good like a good period of time on tinder I had finally swiped on a guy and he was a big muscly top and that well not like that sounds bad He was like a very like fit person for that tinder in Montreal he was pretty good. So I was like, oh my god, I finally found a muscly top. Like, that's my type. Let's fingers crossed he, you know, we, we, you know, match. Because if we don't, well, I'm gonna have to go back to, you know, swiping right on bottoms, you know? Which, by the way, a lot of the bottoms would swipe right on me as well. So, like, we would match. And then it would just be like, hey, sis, how are you? It'd be like, oh my god, girl, queen, how are you, legend? So it would be like a really gay conversation. And we would, like, just be friends at the end of it. But so finally, after a long wait, well, it was like two hours or so, but still. We, I get a notification on my tinder and we match now i'm not gonna say his name because i'm pretty sure he watches my youtube videos like this is more in a story like later but uh he found out about my channel we ended up talking whatever um and turns out this guy went to all my best friends at school um so they knew him somewhat uh so that made it seem like less sketchy for me i've never met up with someone on tinder that like i never like knew fully or like someone knew because i just don't trust people out there and they'd seen him in school so they were like yeah nick he's cute he looks okay like i I don't think he's gonna kill you like <laughs> go for it so after talking i think like over text it went pretty well like it wasn't like great conversation but it was like pretty good but i was desperate for a date so i was like let's just go on a date like let's see what happens so yeah ah, 
sorry, it's very thirsty. So now I actually forget where our first date with this guy was. I think the second one was movies, and that I know for a fact, because the story time will come. Hold on. I actually can't remember. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to go back. Oh god, I don't want to go back. So he texts me. He's like, yeah, let's go on a date. Let's do it. I know a really good restaurant. Which the restaurant was beautiful. It was like, basically, there's like a really tall, like, skyscraper in Montreal. And at the very top of it, there's a restaurant. And you have, like, nice views of the city. So super cute. So we met, like, in the subway, which is probably not very smart, but we did. By the way, he was my age. He was not, like, older. Well, I think he was, like, maybe a year older than me. But he was, like, my age. We meet in, like, the subway. And he's like, oh my god, hi. Um, and he was, like, not a catfish. It was great. Because I was, like, honestly, like, 99% sure it was gonna be a catfish like I literally had like my vlog camera ready in case it was we meet at the um subway and then he brings me to the restaurant so now he brings me like like in a really nice elevator like it's a really nice vibe like everyone's bougie as balls there so we get there and the restaurant is bougie as balls like sorry I keep, I keep saying that is that like my new thing bougie as balls should I like make merch bougie as balls would y'all buy that I'll work on it so it was like a really nice table like on the window it was a really good vibe honestly like, it was really good I was not gonna tell him about my youtube channel at all because because I was like, I, I just want to see if someone's like literally interested in me for me and like not like for my followers or whatever. Because I had gotten that a lot in the past where like, it'd be like, oh my god, like you're cute. And then they'd be like, oh my god, like you have a lot of followers. I just didn't want that vibe. And he didn't know about my channel. So I was like, Kayla, listen, I'm not going to tell him at all. I'm just going to see how we vibe without him knowing I have a channel. And then I'll tell him later, you know? Unfortunately though, um, I love my followers. I love my fans. Okay, so this is like literally the the bougie restaurant in all of Montreal. It's like all the way up. It's quite, it's quite a small restaurant. And what are the chances we sit down and uh, two fans come to the table and ask me for pictures. And then you can imagine the guy has no idea I'm I'm like relevant right so he's just kind of sad there like looking at this happen and the girl's like oh my god nick i fucking love your slime videos oh my god nick i love when you like you play with your slime because at that time I, I did slime right <laughs> i ended up chatting to her a bit and i took pictures with her and then after my supporter left he was just kind of sad there and was like what just happened? And I was like, okay, so here we go. Basically, I make slime on YouTube, and I'm quite big. <laughs> Naturally, the conversation rolls to that, right? Uh, we talk about my, about my YouTube channel. Like, I mean, he was very intrigued. Like, you could tell he was very intrigued. We eat supper. I, we literally have conversation about my channel the whole fucking time. It's so annoying, because I wanted to, like, get to know more about him. So I tried to ask him a, a lot about his personal life and all that, but he wouldn't dive too much into it. Like, he was kind of sketchy. Um, and he would just keep going back to my YouTube channel. A good two hours of the night was, like, about my channel. And that was it. So then as the night goes on, it just kind of gets like worse and worse. And like, I'm just like not vibing with him at all. Like, I don't know what it is. Some people I just don't vibe with. And like, I think that he was just one of them. <laughs> we get the check. And like, usually like, I'm not like stingy at all with this kind of stuff. But like, so basically this guy took me out. So at the start of the night, he goes, get whatever you want. Like, do, do you want a glass of wine? Like, like, he was offering me these things, right? So I had just assumed with all that information that, that he was paying. You know, I wasn't making like crazy money on, on YouTube back then. And then at the end, the check arrived. He's like, listen like um i don't do this at all but like basically like i'm running low on cash right now do you mind paying for this one and i'm like <laughs> He goes, yeah, yeah, like, I'm really low on cash. Thing is, is, like, why would you take me to a bougie-ass restaurant, offer me wine, offer me all these big meals? I'm glad I took a really cheap place. Because if people pay for me, like, I'll just tend to go cheaper with, like, my meal and all that. Because I don't want to, like, you know, be too much. He got, like, like, a massive fucking steak, you know. And then he was, like, yeah, like, you're paying tonight, pretty much. So then I was, like, okay, that's kind of, like, an asshole move. You know, I would have been happy with McDonald's if you weren't going to pay. Why? Why would you take me here if you're fucking not gonna pay for it? So I, I ended up paying and then he was like, let's go down and let, let's just go walk in the city. So now we're walking in the city, whatever, and there's like a, a, a corner store open. Um, in Montreal, like pretty much everywhere you go, they sell alcohol. We pass one and he goes in and he's like, oh my God, like wanna go clubbing tonight. At the time I was underage cause to go in the club you have to be 18. Uh, but he was like, listen, like I, I'll get us in, don't worry. I'm pretty sure it was just like, it was just like um a way of trying to hook up with me. Because, like, I wasn't showing, like, lovey signs all night. So, I, I think he was trying to get me drunk. To then we get, like, closer and all that. But at this point, like, I was not down. Like, the whole conversation all night was about my, my YouTube channel. I ended up paying for the meal. It was just, I was just, like, not down. So, I was like, listen, like, I would love to go out with you. And, like, I would love to go clubbing. But, like, I have to go. Like, he was like, oh, like, really, man? Like, he, like you could tell he was, like, genuinely, like, 
you know, mad about it, which I was like kind of sketched out again by. Like, yeah, he was like, oh my god, really? Like, 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 don't be a baby. Like, he was like peer pressuring me. So I left. Of course, I call my my best friend when I get home, and I'm like, listen, girl, like I'm not vibing him at all. Personality wise, he's not there. He made me pay for supper. Like, he talked about my YouTube channel all night. Like, I was like, I'm not down for this guy. My friend wanting the best for me, but like also like, she wanted the best for me in terms of like she knew like there was not really any other guys out there like that were my type in my small like separate town anyways so she was like listen nick if i were you like i'd give him one more shot like just give him one more try you never know so i decided to give this guy another try and this date <laughs> went awful so at this time we decided to go watch a movie um and i got to pick supper this time so i picked subway there's no fucking way i'm gonna go to a bougie ass restaurant and have to pay because i'm not doing that shit so surprisingly this time he paid for like i think the cookie so yeah again like we were having conversation and i was just like not feeling it at all i was like i don't even know why i went on the second day with him went to the movie theater right after that um and there was loads of movies playing and he was suggesting all these movies like fucking iron man or like just like all these like marvel movies here's the thing i'm not a marvel hater like i don't hate them but i just don't find like superhero movies like fun at all anyway so love simon had just come out in theaters like oh my god like this movie's about gays like we need to watch this like we're both gay it just worked and he was like okay Okay, I guess. So anyways, I think I paid for my own ticket again. No biggie. It's whatever. So we go in. So at this point, I was just trying to like do like typical couple stuff. This was like my first ever like movie date with like a guy. So as much as this guy was like, I wasn't really vibing with him. I still wanted like that typical like, you know, movie date. He puts his arm around me or something like that. The whole movie, I'm not even kidding you right now. I was like facing forward like this. I was like sat facing forward. Like my back was not on the bench. Leave some space for his arm. He didn't do it the whole night. I was just kind of sat like this. <laughs> And he never did it. And also, I tried to, like, put my knee closer to his. So maybe, like, my grab it or something. Didn't happen either. He was very much to himself. So the movie goes on. And um, I don't know if y'all ever watched Love, Simon. But in the movie, there was a scene at the end where the mom goes to the kid. And she's like, oh, my God, it's okay that you're gay. Like, it's a really, like, emotional moment, like, between the mom and the son. A lot of my friends have said, like, they cried at it. I think every gay guy that's close to his mom, like, really close, will cry at that scene because it's so good. So, of course, me watching for the first time, I cried at that scene. So he sat next to me, right? And then I started to tear up at this um scene and i'm like tearing up i like wipe my like eye out and with any date this is like a tip for gal if your date is crying at a movie this is your perfect chance to go in put your arm around them tell them it's okay wipe their tear it's the, it's your perfect time for your move man and literally i was sat there crying right because it's a really touching scene and the only thing he said he looked at me and he said why are you crying and instantly, you, can, you know, like you're like really emotional, and then like all of a sudden you go like, you, you like switch off. And it's kind of like that. I was like, what? <laughs> he goes, why are you crying? So I'm in that sad. As a gay man, like, I don't know if he was close to his mom or what the situation was, but I started to explain. I was like, well, listen, like, it's just like I'm very close to my mom. Like, this is like, you know, like I never really got this speech from my mom. So I'm just happy for the for, for the guy in love, Simon. I couldn't believe at that moment I was explaining to him why I was crying. Like, I think it's pretty obvious if you're gay, like, why that scene could be very touching to you. He goes, but man, like, just man up, stop crying. So I sit there for the, for the rest of the movie. In my head, I fucking sit the fuck back down. No arms gonna, gonna around me, bitch. And I literally just sat there, like, the whole movie. And I was like, oh my god, this is awful. I wanna go home, you know? Anyways, the movie ends. Again, he suggests to go out on a night out. He's like, oh my god, dude. So last time you promised me we were gonna drink next time. Like, let's do it. Like, again, pretty sure he said that to try to hook up with me. Like, he was properly trying to hook up because he kept offering me alcohol. And, like, wanted to go out and, like stay at his after like he literally offered to stay at his house and like watch netflix and stuff so he wanted to hook up at the end of the day listen i was like this has got to end like i'm not feeling it with you at all like it's not gonna work out he seemed like really sad about it but then i was like after all this shit he's done to me like my like i don't really care like, i'm not like, like a ruthless person at all but like when someone like tells you all this shit they told me and like just wants to hook up at the end of the day like it wasn't like a crazy like he murdered me story time but it could have probably turned into like a crazy story time if i went to his house which i maybe should have just for, like story time content i guess the message of this video is like don't go on tinder <laughs> So hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Again, just be careful on Tinder, guys. You never know what kind of creeps you're messaging. So just always be safe on Tinder and like always make sure that person's real. If y'all want some more gay story time, I'll give the video a big thumbs up. And if there's a lot of thumbs up, well then I'll 
to first show you some more gay story times. Because if y'all want to follow for me in this video, all you have to do is hit the bell, subscribe, and comment down below. The notification squad shout out. And if y'all do all three of those things, well, I'm going to go to comments down below this video and follow you. All right, guys. So that's all for the video. I'm going to go and I'm going to see you guys after tomorrow with my new video. All right. Bye.